Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be unboxing and giving you my first impressions of this brand new Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite 5G. Quite a long name, of course, Xiaomi has relieved quite a number of handsets in the last year with different series. There was a Mi 10 series not long ago, now we got the Mi 10T series. So this phone is part of the Mi 10T series, we got the Mi 10T, the Mi 10T Pro and then you got at the budget end the Mi 10T Lite and this is a 5G phone. Now this phone has got a few things very special going on for it. First and foremost, it's got the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G octa-core chipset. This is the first time this chipset has made its debut in this device. So again, a very, very exciting. Now those of you who follow me, you've already seen me unbox the Oppo Reno 4 Pro 5G, which has got the 765G chipset. Now this is not too far behind from 765 and I would be interested to see how this performs as opposed to that. Uh, for the price, to be honest, it's only one fourth of the price of what Reno 4 Pro is going for. The Reno 4 Pro, as you know, uh, those of you who follow me in my unboxing, I told you it's going for 699 pound sterling in the UK. This is going for only 199 pound sterling, but this is an early bird price. This kicked off from midnight 26th of October, only for 24 hours. So I quickly purchased this straight away, knowing that you're never gonna get a phone with 5G, also 120 hertz refresh rate. This is something which you see on top and flagship phones, like for instance, the Samsung Galaxy S20 or the OnePlus 8 and the 8T. Them kind of phones have higher refresh rate, but this phone has got 120 hertz, like I said, for only 199. So even if you lose uh, the early bird price and you pay the regular price, which is around 250 pounds sterling in the UK, I still think this is great value for money. A uh, six gigs of RAM and so much going on. We'll discuss this all in just a moment. So let's have a quick look at the box then. The Mi logo on top, a 10T light 5G, like I said, brilliant for this price point. It is almost non-existent for a phone to have a 5G for around 200 pound mark. So this is a new landmark, a new breakthrough in smartphone tech world. Okay, so having a look on the right hand side, again, Mi 10T Lite, nothing special. And like I said, this is the six gig variant I've got along with 64 GB internal storage. You can also go for a one to eight GB as well. I think it's got a UFS 2.1 with the 64 gig. And if you go for the one to eight gig, you get the UFS 2.2, I think if I remember correctly, meaning fast access to your storage. In other words, a quicker speeds and overall a quicker performance. So without wasting any more time, let's quickly open the box up and let's see what do we find inside. Opening the box, there we go. And first and foremost, you can see it says designed uh, by Xiaomi, which is fantastic. So uh, let's open this up. There we go. So this is the SIM ejector tool, fantastic. All the regular paperwork and like a typical Chinese tradition, which I absolutely love. We also have a TPU gel case, which is fantastic. So looking at the paperwork, not much here guys. The user guide, safety information, I'm sure most of you may not be interested in. Oh, having a look at the case. So let's get the case out then. There we go. So this is the TPU uh, gel case. Uh, this is one of my favorite categories. I love cases like that. Okay, so let's put the case away. Let's get this baby out. The Xiaomi Mi 10 T Lite. I, by the way, ordered the aquatic blue color. The specs at the front, as you can tell, 64 megapixel AI quad camera again at this price point, which is fantastic. We also have a 120 hertz adaptive sync display, 6.67 full HD plus dot display. Again, fantastic. Uh, this is the brand new chipset I spoke to you guys about, Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G, making its debut in this phone with high performance 5G processor. Again, fantastic. This price point is ridiculous. You don't get a brand new chipset with 5 5G at this price point. Again, a big massive battery, 4,820 milliamp, along with 33 watt fast charging. Unlike Apple, they do give you the charger in the box. So Xiaomi, thank you for that. We all know what Apple is all about. Yes, we consider and we care for the environment, but we also know how Apple rips people off. Let's put the phone away. We'll have a look at it in just a moment. What else do we have inside the box? This is the cable, and again, it's got a type C, which is fantastic, meaning the phone has type C USB. We get this big charging brick, fantastic. Like I said, a 33 watt, a very fast charger, 
and it's got all the bells and whistles as you can see the ratings here so looking quite nice so Xiaomi thank you for including um, a, a fast charger in the box nothing else in the box let's put everything away and let's get straight to the phone and have a look and see what else do you find so let's open this case up there we go guys okay so here we go this is the brand new Xiaomi a Mi 10T Lite 5G with a brand new chipset, the Snapdragon 750G, and the phone is also, like I said, a 5G. Looking at the back of the phone, so I ordered basically the blue color, guys. This is the aquatic blue color that also comes in gray. So now let's put the phone uh, into uh, this case, uh, bottom bit first, mostly in most cases, and then the top bit, there we go. And it goes on top of the phone without any fuss. So now looking at the back of the phone, you can see the color as well and all the four cameras the quad cameras along with the uh, i think it's a dual tone led flash once again at this price point uh, very difficult to find also there's a selfie camera as well and this is an lcd screen so not looking too bad so now let's uh, take the case off the phone and let's uh, look at the phone in its pure raw form i i can see already it's a fingerprint magnet it's got lots of fingerprints at the back already but the shiny color bit is really, really nice and my camera is actually struggling a bit to focus onto it so let's bring the phone close and see what do we have here it says xiaomi uh, made in china at the same time you can see here the model number and it says the bottom a uh, 5g as well which is not too bad again here a quad camera setup like i said along with dual D flash at the bottom we have this type c usb once again for this price point well done xiaomi thank you for giving us um, type c usb and the beloved 3.5 mil jack i know lots of my viewers lots of my people who follow me they often ask me why don't they include the 3.5 mil jack people xiaomi have listened to you not only they've given you a cheap phone they've also given you a phone with 3.5 mil jack so all those out there lovers of 3.5 mil jack with old headphones uh, this is the time for you to rejoice on this phone then one more interesting thing the phone has got a stereo speaker setup as well at this price point fantastic xiaomi you've given us so much you're giving us a 120 hertz full hd plus lcd screen you're giving us stereo speaker setup again at this price point they're giving you way too much than you would expect you can see here at the front guys this grill here speaker grill this is your earpiece also acts as the speaker and then you've got this classic setup with the speaker at the bottom as well so this is a stereo speaker phone and i will be testing the sound on this at some point in the next few days and before we end this video we'll have a quick look and see how the speakers also uh, come up there's self selfie camera in the middle guys as well from what i can see there's also a pre-applied screen protector again a big massive tick to xiaomi not only you'll be saving on the screen protector but you'll also be saving money on the phone case as well once again fantastic approach so now let's turn the phone on and i'm guessing i'll tell you what i forgot it also has a fingerprint scanner inside the power button wow it cannot get any better than that people fantastic let's boot this baby up and see what comes up now from my understanding if i remember correctly this phone is running android 10 also it's running me ui i think either 11 or 12 we will just check that in a moment i think it's i'm pretty sure it's it's uh, it's 12 if not 11 but we will find out that in a minute there you go the me ui interface is coming up and the phone is not there you go so me ui 12 like i said so it's running the very latest uh, skin of me ui by xiaomi now looking on the right hand side of the phone like i said the power button along with your fingerprint scanner embedded in fantastic value for money once again these probably are your volume rockers looking on top this is your noise cancellation mic along with your ir blaster from my understanding i think wow this is your ir blaster look at that i can see the shiny bit there i am mighty mighty impressed okay looking on the left hand side uh, this is your uh, sim tray it's got a dual sim you can also put a micro sd card in there as well once again fantastic value for money i tell you what the phone does seem a bit heavy a bit hefty so let's bring in my weighing machine and let's have a look and see how much does this weigh let's turn this on let's put the phone right in the middle of this and see how much it weighs there we go guys wow it is quite heavy so around 218 grams in weight so people please do keep that in mind it has got a massive battery inside obviously a big 6.67 inch full uh, hd plus lcd screen and by the way the phone has got 
uh, if I remember correctly, a Gorilla Glass 5 at the back and also Gorilla Glass 5 at the front and the frame between the glass surfaces is of plastic but I tell you what, when you hold the phone in your hand and the way it comes across is very very nicely built it doesn't look cheap at all for the price point which is again fantastic effort by Xiaomi but like I said guys it's a little bit heavy so please do keep that in mind now looking at the back like I said earlier quad camera setup round camera I quite like that it's pretty nice I think the main camera if I remember correctly is 64 megapixels uh, along with an f1.9 aperture the other cameras shouldn't be superstars because it's a budget device so as long as the main camera performs fine we are good to go it's got so many languages in there as well European language, different versions of English, Arabic, Hindi, Chinese. There's so many languages which is again great. So guys, let me hook this up to my Wi-Fi. I'll go through the basic setup and I'll be back in just a moment. On the home screen after the initial basic setup, I hooked up to my Wi-Fi as well. So first and foremost, let's get into settings and change the screen brightness uh, to manual. I, as you guys know, most of you who follow me, I don't like auto brightness. Uh, I like to keep it manual and at full throttle. There we go, guys. The screen is pretty bright and punchy. It's not too bad. It is no AMOLED, so please don't expect that kind of brightness. But still, the screen is very bright, and at this price point, you can't ask for any more than that. So let's get into settings and have a look and see which version of Android and MIUI uh, this phone is running. So go into About Phone. Here you go, so as you can see, it's running the MIUI version, the global version. 12.0.2 the stable version along with android 10 as you can see and the security patch level uh, 2020.0901 so pretty much up to date and not looking too bad going into all specs and this is where the specs come in as you can see we have version global like i said a patch level android 10 octa core a brand new snapdragon 750g along with six gigs of ram and the model number is m2007 j17g this is the one coming here in the uk looking at the storage there we go as you can see i like this new animation beautiful this is the new me ui it's been a while since i had a xiaomi phone so i think i'm going to enjoy this very very much it tells you exactly how much uh, the apps are occupying around just over two gig of um, space taken by the apps and you got 13 gigs taken by the system you still have uh, plenty of uh, free space left out of the 64 gig variant however if you're looking to live with the phone for a longer period of time then please do consider the 128 gig version as well which will benefit more but because the phone comes with a micro sd card so for most average users at this price point uh, with the basic use the phone should be uh, more than enough and like i said if you need more memory you can always expand that uh, with the memory card now like i said earlier in the video we will test the speakers on this phone once again this is a bonus having stereo speakers at this price point is just simply ridiculous i do not expect companies to be giving you stereo speakers at around the 200 pound price point so let's get into settings and have a look and see how the speakers sound so settings sound and vibration and then we got here the ringtone. I can see there are quite a few changes on the MIUI, the newer version already. And I quite like it. So let's get into any remix ringtone. Increase it. There you go. To be honest, it sounds very nice. It doesn't sound as bassy and as punchy as you would have, say, for instance, on an uh, S20 or the Oppo Reno 4 Pro. But for this price point, speakers coming onto your face, sound coming onto your face, this is a bonus and it sounds very clear and very, very nice. I will be obviously testing it more in the days and weeks to come. So please do stay tuned to my social media uh, links down below. I'll be giving you regular updates on the channel and on my social media about the performance on the speakers and the performance of the phone in general. Before we go, I've also configured the fingerprint sensor and let's have a look and see how quick that is. Uh, so it's like I said, embedded in the power button just here guys. So let's have a look. Very, very quick. There you go guys. Pretty straightforward, pretty quick. Not the quickest, 
but it's very responsive that's the main thing and responding to my thumb straight away also uh, to my index finger there we go without any issues so the power button is there for you you tap it you touch it you don't have to even press it just tap and touch it and it will come up straight away without any fuss again fantastic at this price point and looks very very accurate so far what i can see so that's me guys with my first impressions and also the unboxing of the xiaomi mi 10t Lite 5g if you like my video please give it a thumbs up any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and like always uh, please subscribe as it helps and i shall see you in the next video